Boyd Island is a large island. It's roughly about five square kilometers. It lies half a kilometer to the southeast of Bob Cajun and Pigeon Lake, which is part of the Quartha Lake systems, 20 kilometers or so north of Peterborough. So it's centrally located within uh, a, a pretty active uh, set of movement patterns over the last few thousand years. It's one of the largest uh, preserved undeveloped shorelines in the Kawartha Lakes. If you look at Boyd relative to the surrounding landscape, it, we would almost classify it as being pristine. It's not very common to have tracts of land that are just allowed to uh, evolve the way I feel like they were meant to, to evolve. The uh, island is mostly uh, forested. It's actually quite a nice diversity of habitats, including uh, meadow or field habitat um, and wetland. There is uh, maple, forest where maples uh, dominate, butternut trees. We saw also some very large uh, sugar maples and oak and uh, really all of the representative species. We sit in an area that's known as the land between and um, we're right at that transition where we get Great Lakes, Lowlands, Limestone communities and just to the north of us we get into Precambrian Shield and where these two zones intermix because it's almost like a hybrid zone we get lots of species richness, diversity um, greater than you would find on either, on either side. Boyd Island specifically has evidence of human occupation for at least the last 3,000, maybe to 4,000 years. In the early 19th century, uh, the island transferred into European ownership and underwent quite significant transformation with logging, as, as a large portion of the Quartha Lakes did. And there were some land clearances for, uh, for cattle, for beefalo development, um, of the Boyd family out of, out of Bob Cajun. So it underwent the island, as well as the surrounding landscape, had undergone a, a, a hugely significant transformation. I feel like I've had a relationship with Boyd Island all my life. Uh, it's just been a really important uh, feature on the lake for, well, for as long as I can remember. The, the project that we're embarking on now, I think, is the absolute perfect model for Boyd Island. Because what it will allow us to do is to create an educational opportunity as we lose those opportunities for young children to be in experienced wilderness and to understand nature. The Kawartha Land Trust has all of that capacity to build programs, maintain the integrity of the island, and allow millions of people to enjoy it in a friendly way. I was really quite amazed that, that an area of this size offering so much natural diversity, you know, still exists and has been relatively undisturbed. It's really something that's quite unique and something that needs to be uh, protected. I can't imagine um, a better legacy to leave to this area than to work uh, towards uh, preserving the Boyd Island. The island is, is, a, is a living record of both the ecological um, history of the Kawartha Lakes and also the human history of the Kawartha Lakes. It needs to be protected. So many times we, we are, we're always compromising and the compromise tends to be um, at the sake of the environmental, the integrity of the environmental side. And I think in this case, let's go the other way a little. Put some trails out there, get people out there so they can see it, um, but also maintain its, its integrity as it is now and as it continues to, to grow old. Everybody gets something out of it, but it, it functions best when it's whole. My vision is really unfolding as we move forward on this project, an opportunity to share that beautiful place with anyone who's interested in a way that we won't even know they were there, just that silent footprint.